Hey everyone, back with another review. Today we're taking a look at the Tacstar SGC 600, the successor to the 598. I know a lot of people who are starting out making videos don't want to break the bank buying gear. And if you're looking around, there can be a lot to choose from. You also might be wondering if you can buy a cheap mic and have decent results. I know this can be a bit of a guessing game sometimes. I've tried multiple different budget mics, all with varying qualities and success. Uh, and for a while, I was using an audio interface with a mic attached through XLR, which did sound really good, but it can sometimes be a bit of a pain to set everything up when you want to just start filming. So I was really looking for something that I could just get decent audio from, where I didn't have to spend a lot of time on setup. Prior to this, I did end up buying a more expensive option, the DT VMic D3, but it actually came dead on arrival, so I thought, hey, why not try out this Tacstar? A lot of people rave about the 598, so why not try the 600? So let's take a look at this mic, shall we? In the box, you'll find the microphone, obviously, a splitter cable, windscreen, and a battery. Uh, the build itself is plastic. It's nice and light. You've got a 3.5 millimeter cable that comes out of the side and a AA battery that goes in the front. And on the back, you'll find a power switch, low cut filter switch, and the gain adjustment. There's also a shock mount at the bottom of the mic. Looks wise, I think that this does look better than the 598. And I like that it's nice and light and also that the controls are situated on the back of the mic. Uh, the shock mount is pretty stiff, so I don't know how functional that's going to be for you, if that's a feature that you're looking for. Uh, I'm mostly using mine for these videos, so everything is indoors and mostly stationary, so I'm not too worried about it personally. The one thing that I don't like is the cable just sticks out of the side here. It's not removable. So if it ever does break, you'll probably have to buy a new mic. I'll just briefly touch on a few of the specs. This mic is a super cardioid pattern, meaning it is very directional. The frequency response on this mic is 50 Hertz to 16 kilohertz. The low cut filter is supposed to cut out background noise below 200 Hertz. Uh, the gain adjustment has three settings, minus 10 dB, zero and plus 10 dB. So for a budget mic, it's not too bad. You're not going to find some of these features on a few other budget options that are out there. Uh, but let's move on to what's actually most important here, the sound quality. Overall, I've been really happy with the sound quality so far. I always record the audio with a 10 dB boost on. That way I can turn my camera preamp way down and get rid of any noise in the background. Uh, I will say one thing you have to be careful of is using any 3.5 millimeter extension cables. If you've got the mic on a boom arm or away from the camera, uh, that can definitely cause some noise. And I have had some issues where I wasn't careful about the quality of the cable that I was using or if I was running a cable alongside other power sources. So let's just go over a few tests here so you can see what everything sounds like. Uh, for starters, this whole time I've been talking has been through this mic, so you should get a general idea of what things sound like. Uh, I've recorded this whole video up to this point with the 10 dB boost on without the low cut filter. The mic is on a boom arm that's just a few feet away from me. Woo, it's right here. Uh, just so you can get an idea of what the sound is like using the built-in mic on this camera, I'll turn that on now. So this is me just talking to the built-in microphone on the camera. It sounds pretty terrible. So let's try out a few other tests here. We'll test how directional this is. So right now, I'm obviously right in front of the mic. So I'm gonna still be talking and I'm gonna start to move around the mic. I'm at the side now, moving to the back. I'm talking at the back of the microphone and we'll come back around to the front of the mic. So you can get an idea of how directional it is from that. So now we'll check out different distances. So right now I'm about a foot away from the microphone. So this is what it sounds like at about a foot away. 
Now I'm about three feet away from the microphone. So this is what this sounds like, about three feet away. All right, so this is about as far back as I can go. This is about five feet away from the microphone. So this is what the mic sounds like, about five feet away. We'll also check out this low cut filter. So I'm just gonna turn this on. Okay, so I've got the low cut filter on. So I'm about a foot away from the mic with the low cut filter on. This is about three feet away with the low cut filter on. This is about five feet away with the low cut filter on. All right, finally, let's mess around with the gain a little bit. So obviously right now I'm at plus 10 dB, but let's switch that around. I'll go to zero. This is the mic at zero dB gain. And this is the mic at minus 10 dB gain. So hopefully from that, you can get a fairly good idea of what things sound like. Uh, there's not a lot that I don't like about this mic, especially at this price point. You can usually find it between 50 to $70 on Amazon. Uh, I have had a few instances where I forgot to turn off the battery or turn it on when I started recording. So just make a mental note of that if you do pick this up. I have also noticed some people raising concerns about putting a dead cat filter on this, uh, just the way that the mic is constructed. But again, I'm not really using this outdoors at all. So it's really a non issue for me. I'll pop a link down below to the mic if you're interested in picking it up. Overall, I'm really happy with the quality of the microphone. I have bought other budget shotgun microphones in the past, and they've really been hit or miss with quality. And this is definitely the best quality out of the bunch. So if you are planning on picking this up, I do not think that you'll be disappointed at all. So that's it for me in this video. If you want to help this channel out, please hit that like button. If you wanna see more of this content, please subscribe. There's lots more on the way. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you next time.